My postman is really busy with me this year. <laughs> By the way, hello guys! Today I got this 9 kg box and want to show you what's inside of it. Okay, let's take all my keep it professional. <laughs> you know, all kind of stuff which concerns sim racing and cars makes me so excited. <laughs> it's the new Transmaster T248. Why is this steering wheel so important? because it should take the place of the Thrustmaster T150 TMX. In few words, this steering wheel wants to be a bestseller, especially for beginners and amateur drivers, which represent more than 80% of sim racing market. Of course, it isn't a high-end performance steering wheel, but it should represent a good value choice in terms of performances, quality, price, ratio. Let's see what's in the box. We have the steering wheel, one of the lightest I ever tested in my sim racing career. Then we have all the cables, tools and the manual. Then we, we have the T3PM pedals. And uh, nothing. So these are all the elements you'll find in the box. The steering wheel has 25 buttons, but less than the big brother TGT2. The grip it seems fine. The double magnetic paddles are pretty noisy, if you ask me. But uh, if you don't mind that, uh, they do their job pretty well. Down to the wheel, we find the female entries for the power supply, the USB cable and the pedals. In any case, the rubber which covers the chrome is pretty soft and comfortable. The rest is made of matte plastic. The plastic base of T3PM pedals is solid and grippy. While the pedals themselves are made of metal and they are larger than the T3PA. It has four different pressure calibrations, so it's highly customizable. The pressure on the brick pedal can reach 200 kilograms, but hey, I think none of us will break that hard unless you are a bodybuilder. <laughs> the clutch pedal is slightly heavier than the throttle, but both pedals have a good feeling thanks to the metal springs. Under the pedals you have four grippy pieces of rubber which, according to my experience, aren't enough so I suggest to fix with screws. Under the pedals there are four holes which fits perfectly with for my cockpit. This is the pre-release model and I couldn't test it in a lot of racing games because it misses the software updates to make it fully compatible with all racing games. By fully compatible I mean the steering wheel LCD screen is also supported. For example, I tested a T248 on Assetto Corsa Competizione on PC, which isn't present yet in the compatible race game list. The false feedback works, but LSD screen not. But as I told you before, don't worry, at the moment of the launch, the T248 will support almost all racing games out on the market. As you can see, the screen has a lot of functions, such as speed, lap time, record time, gear, RPM dashboard in several styles, wheel degree rotation, force feedback mode, force feedback motor temperature, etc. The graphics is immediate, easy to read while driving. 
Really, Trustmaster did a great job on this screen. What about the force feedback and the sensations? Trustmaster claims this steering wheel is 70% more powerful than the T100-150, thanks to the constant debit power of 48 watts. The steering wheel gives you the possibility to change three different types of force feedback between boosted ground feeling, increased skid control and force feedback fidelity. I tested all of them, the difference is present, but uh, it's very light. In any case, as you can see, the steering wheel, thanks to the accuracy of the race room, is very precise at giving you infos, such as the RPM vibration of the engine and the gear upshifts. Tracking perfections, curves and weight transfer are on point. The force feedback is powerful, but uh, it's a bit slow at returning to the original position. So, quick steering correction could be slightly difficult, especially for people who don't have good driving skills yet. As I told you before, you can customize the RPM counter in several ways. Returning to the force feedback, this steering wheel is more indicated for fast cars such as Formula 1, Le Mans prototype, GT3 and GT4. Thanks to the slow reactions, it gives you a sensation of full control on your car. With the rally stages, those slow reactions could be detrimental on some elements such as fast steering correction which happen often in this racing discipline. I said from that, the steering wheel works fine and represents a nice investment as first racing wheel if you want to start your sim racing adventure. Pedals represent also step up compared to the T3PA, the previous model. Of course, the brake pedal doesn't have the same precision of the load seal pedal of the TLCM, a 150 euros pedal from Trotsmaster, but it's still way better than the other pedals I tested in my previous years, like the Logitech G29. You can pre-order the steering wheel starting from August 31st. These are the prices. And these are the good bad points about it. To make you understand better the steering wheel, it replaces the T150 TMX and it wants to be placed just under the T300. So as I told you before, this steering wheel pretends to be a bestseller for the mass. Those who have already direct drive steering wheel could allow at it. But uh, keep in mind that not everyone has more than 700 euros dollars to spend in a steering wheel pedals combo. And keep in mind Trustmaster as well is working on a direct drive steering wheel. Returning to the T248, 
it's a decent wheel. If you don't pretend too much, it will make it work pretty well and it won't disappoint you. But if you are searching for something more hardcore, it's better to add several hundred of euros dollars to the, your budget. I hope uh, you liked this review. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video.